Okay, so now the restore is almost over. As you can see, it's just finishing up. And we'll give it a moment here, and it should be nice and done. Now, when it does come up in iTunes 11, it will allow you to be able to restore from your older backup. Um, or if you found it on the ground, you can set it up as a new iPod. I'll select the uh, setup as a new iPod feature just so you see what happens. So what it says is it's been restored to factory settings, leave it connected, and um, it'll appear in iTunes after it restarts. And now what the device does is it has its little own loading bar, and it just finalizes the software on the device itself. Now that the bar is gone, it should turn right on. Obviously, the the, uh, the third generation iPod Touch is a lot slower in turning on than the newer devices. So now what it says is iPod. Welcome to your new iPod. And I'll just set it up. You say set it up, it'll just come to the iPod screen. I'll just, no, nah, actually, yeah. Set up as a new iPod. Push continue. Get started. And there's the iPod. It aims at the same name as your computer. So, and there we go. That is how you restore an iPod, iPad, or iPhone that is uh, passcode locked. So you find one or you forget your passcode um, on iTunes. You just hold down the power and home button for 10 seconds, and then you switch to just the home button, all while it's plugged in. And then it'll come up in iTunes saying it's in restore mode. Then you download the software, restore it, and it'll come on and be ready to use. And that's it. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, Y'all have a good day. Hey, YouTube.AskMithyWinkle here with a quick tutorial on how to um, get the passcode off of an iPod that you might have forgotten the passcode on. So, this will work on any iDevice, whether it be a newer one or an older one. It will work on an iPhone 5, 4, 4S, 3G, 3GS, 1st Gen, and any of the iPod Touches and any of the iPads. So, like I said, if you forget your Pasco, this is how you take it off. What we want to do, we're going to plug it into the computer. It'll sync. Now what it should do, if it's your computer, it'll connect. And you'll be able to get all your crap off the iPod. However, if it's not your computer, then this is how we're going to do it. While it's plugged in, you go ahead and hold down the sleep wake, which will be probably over here on the newer devices, but on this one's right here, and the power button, uh, the home button. Hold them down for 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then only will hold down the home button. And this will put it in DFU mode. Now when you do this, a little icon will come up on the screen. And it'll say iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. This must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So you're going to push OK. Restore iPod. Restore an update. It'll take out the software. And then once it does that, it'll completely restore this, the iPod, iPhone, or iPad to factory settings. Um, what this will allow you to do as long as you're not on iOS 7 is you can turn it on and use it as previously used. If you find an iPhone, say on iOS 7, it will um, not allow you to activate it unless you have the iCloud password. But iOS 6 and below, it'll work just fine. As you can see now, 
it's resetting. So we'll just give it a little bit of time to reset and then it should come on and be fine.